happens. Today we're going to do actually a pretty quick putting things away with me binder, but I just wanted to get everything that I had kind of settled because my box was one, getting very full, and two, TXT, I'm about to start getting stuff for their comeback. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you the setup I have for that, and then I definitely think that the next video will be the majority TXT. So right now we've got, I think, mostly my girl groups. Yeah. Red Velvet, Billy, Stacy, and two very small TXT things. All right, let's start by showing you some of the changes in my TXT binder. I was gonna do like a setting up with me kind of video, but I just didn't get around to it. I wanted to like do it on my own time. Um, so there's actually quite a few changes to my binder, like aesthetically. Um, I decided to go and make these like era marking <laughs> dividers, I guess. Uh, these posters are some of my favorite inclusions or mini posters, but they're always like in the back of my binder. So I decided to sort of um, collate them in with their era and make them all like really pretty and aesthetic. So there's that. I also decided to collect an OT5 set for Blue Hour because this is the only comeback I didn't have an OT5 set for, um, which is silly because it's like one of my favorites. So AR will be happening slowly but surely. Um, so now this is kind of like a spillover page of like other inclusions, my other um, blue hour cards and then it sort of leads into uh freeze freeze is that what it was called <laughs> I can only think of fighter escape now um but here's like an example of like a marker for the new era and like oh my god doesn't this look so pretty I'm like obsessed with this I like went out and got papers that I felt like would look really good with it um and I just feel like so jazzed about my TXT collection right now so there's that for fighter escape this one is beautiful um, and now I get to like look at these better or more frequently because I'm often in like these nine pocket pages. So there's that. And then I've set up for, um, oh my God, Thursday's Child. <laughs> uh, so the postcards are much smaller this era. So they'll be in this page with some on the back here. I'm collecting OT5 for the hate version. Uh, it was just a random guess that I was going to like that one the most, even before the concept photos came out. I was right. So there's that. Uh, then we'll have, you know, the rest of the Weverse Pobs, um, Mess, Tear, Target, all that stuff. Uh, and then, I don't know, these are just extras of these that didn't quite fit, so they exist there. Um, I also have stuff set up for the other inclusions, um, like postcards and the layer cards. We'll go back here. Also, what's this? Oh, the Lenties, which are like six pocket size, I think. Um, but the things I actually have to put away for TXT are two of Subin's uh, Moa by Together. I put these in my binder without like showing you guys, but basically I have Subin's set here, which then will go into um, the units, which I got all of, and then I have two of each of the other members. Um, so there's that. I am still missing Subin's number one. Oh wait, what? One, two, missing his two. The one, the other one with the book, I think. I think I have this marked wrong on my template. I need to go fix that. This is his seven, which will go here. And then his 10, which will go there. And then, yeah, just missing that one card. Um, if you have it, wanna sell it to me, let me know. Or I have cards to trade, but no one seems to be trading these. So there's that. So yeah, there's TXT. Um, I am really enjoying their comeback. I don't think it's my favorite, but that's okay. Like that happens. Um, I am fully obsessed with opening sequence. I think it's one of their best songs ever. All right, let's head over to Stacy. And I'm actually like done with Stacy, which is really exciting. Um, I don't think I've ever been like really done with a collection <laughs> before like the next comeback happens. Um, I guess I'm missing this but I don't really count bigger inclusions. All right, I've got one of her Stay Bad cards, her other Stay Bad card. Um, so cute. I kind of have this thing going, I don't know if I've shown this, where I kind of just sort of keep my pulls too, so that OT6 is kind of represented throughout. Um, so I've got a Suman card here and an Isa card here, but I finally have her other two Statum cards. Um, do I want to put it here? I think I like this card better, so I think I'm going to put it here but they're both so cute. I really love collecting for Jay. I think she's really fun. Oh, it is so exciting to see that page finally all done. It was really hard making progress on these older albums. I don't know why. Stereotype has been done for quite a while actually. Uh, and then we can finish off um, Young Love, which is so exciting. So far, this is album of the year for me. <laughs> Here is her other um, 
album card and then I have OT6 finished for the AR cards. So Isa will go up here and then Yoon. Cool. Did I get this right? Is this her AR card? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yay. That looks so cute. Oh, I've got some <laughs> PTD confetti in there somehow. Um, oh, so beautiful. So here's my completed Stacy collection. Love it. And then here are those Weverse and Apple Music pre-order benefits as well. This is so crooked. I must fix you. All right. I told you this would be a very quick update. Let's move on to Billy. I still have Billy albums coming in. It is ridiculous. Some of these goes were just so slow. Um, so I only have a couple things to update, but this is um, album one. I actually have the Billy Love ID coming, which I'm very excited about. It was like a special card that I think was only included in like 1,111 albums. Um, so that's exciting. I have that coming. Between the two albums, I have some Snowy Night merch. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to set this up yet. So let's think about it. There's two green cards, two selfies, two units, and one of these. So I think I'll put the um, Pola in the middle because it's kind of just like the odd one out. I put it in this like hollow um, sleeve that I got in a trade. But now that I think about it, I don't know where that came from. So that makes me nervous. But maybe I'll get like a nice hollow sleeve just because the rest of these cards are hollow, which is cute. Um, but for now, that makes me too uncomfortable. Um, so we'll put her in the middle here. And then I kind of like the green ones being here because it reads Christmas. <laughs> so maybe we'll do something like this. And then the units can go like here and here. That would look cute. Let's do that. And then I'll make some sort of fillers that look nice. I don't want it to be like too Christmas because it's kind of a lot. But I think the other unit is like red. So I think that'll look nice. All right. There is the Shiyun Snowy Night page. It just felt weird not having this in my like collection because I have like everything else and they're just so new um okay I actually do have just one of these um she I am so bad with their age order I truly just don't know it I think she is second youngest yes because she's younger than Sean I think so we will put her here I really actually don't like how this page looks um like I just don't know what else to put them in. So they're just going to hang out here until I come up with a better solution, which I'm sure that I will come up with. So I actually have another Sean coming in a group order, just how that thing kind of works. So I'll try to trade for these other ones. I'm missing Haruna, Haram, and Suyeon. Um, This is obviously one of her pre-order benefits or fan sign cards. I don't remember which one. It's not Sonara. Maybe it's Everlane. I don't really care. I'm just going to put it here for now. And I'll rearrange these based on like how I feel like they look best. Um, so that'll be fine for now. Then that's it for the Shein page. I really don't have that many Shein inclusions because I'm still waiting again on these group orders. I have a Sean Pola. So that is good. This is the one I wanted. She's so cute. Um, I have a Moon Sua photo card. That's on the next page. This is just Pola's. There we go. Moon Sua album card. I actually have another Moon Sua coming as well. This is like why it's so hard, I feel like, to join multiple group orders. I don't know how people manage it. And then I have a Tsuki. So cute. So now I'm just missing a Sean. Um, and I would maybe like a different Haram PC um, because it's not my favorite of hers of the set. But oh no, I think it looks very cute. So there's that. And then last but certainly not least, we have a uh, Red Velvet. My Red Velvet collection is kind of just haphazard. I just kind of collect the things that make sense for me to collect, I guess. I don't know, especially as things are coming out. Um, so I have both of Solgi's um, <laughs> album photo cards here, not from like the little mini version, but just like the regular sized ones. Um, so there's that. So my kind of mismatch page uh, lives on here. And then I have these two bookmarks. 
Do these fit in a six pocket? I think they will. Um, so I will just stick these in here. I put Irene here and Sylgi here. I think it's fun that they do different like inclusions, but it does make it hard to store in the binder if you're not like a completionist, I feel like. Like now what else am I gonna put here? Because I'm pretty sure this is way too big to like not fit without going over. Yeah, it is, but maybe I'll just stick it here for right now. I mean, but then I have a blank spot here, so it doesn't really solve all that much, but alas. And then, actually, I guess I'll put them in the front because it's big. I have these two posters, mini poster thingies. Um, I'm gonna put Sulgi first, just because she's my bias. I do wish that, um, I don't know, these were a little different size because they're just like, you can't, you know, you can't put them in full size. So you kind of have to put them in like this and it's just not as pretty that way. I don't know. I'm not, again, like a super serious red velvet collector. So maybe I will just cut these down to fit. Mm, we'll see. And then Irene can go here. I don't even think Irene is necessarily my wrecker. I don't know exactly who my wrecker is, but I think she has really pretty cards and stuff. So I usually just get her as well as Silky. So there's that. I'm gonna flip to probably my favorite page right now and we can look at that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to sort of see what I continue to do with this binder. I may need to split it out into two now that I'm thinking about it. It's getting pretty full. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.